I've gotten a number of requests to make a video about confidence and inspiration. This is a large and tricky subject, so I'm going to start off with a video just about loosening up. Now, art is a mind game. Don't let anyone tell you differently. The secret to improving is not always about how you're painting, but it's additionally about what you're thinking while you paint. If you've ever watched professional poker, you might hear players described as being on tilt. And what this means is that they're letting anger or other emotions get in the way of their strategy, which is not going to help them win hands. So if you're looking at a nice, finished illustration like this one, you might think that this is how I'm always drawing. Well, the truth is, I start all of my days by just messing around. I do some loosening up warm-ups. So let me show you an example of why loosening up is incredibly important. So I'm going to show you a simple black line. Now this is an exaggeration of how a beginner often draws. What you're seeing is a collection of small choppy lines that at the end of the day kind of line up into a single line shape. But it's not nearly as nice as something like this. So one is choppy and not confident, while the other has a nice fluid confidence to it. Of course this is exaggerated. But what you're seeing here is a difference of mindset and a difference of posture. In the top example, oftentimes an artist is working very timidly. They're clutching the pen really tightly, and the marks that are coming out are short and truncated. For the bottom example, I drew with my elbow, so I allowed myself to be mechanically fluid and really leave my fingers out of it. My hand stays stiff the entire time, and I'm primarily moving my elbow and my shoulder. And what that does is it naturally allows my skeleton to make a long, fluid line. But how do you get there? Well, what I like to do is the following exercise. So for this warm-up exercise, I'm going to be painting in a stream of consciousness. And it'll all be on a single layer, and I don't care what the result is. The only important thing is that I loosen up along the process. So I'll be using the brush tool and the Alt key to sample colors, and that's how I'm changing colors quickly as I go. I'm also using keyboard shortcuts to make a small brush and a large brush. So I got the idea for this sort of play when I was taking Saturday morning art classes at the local art school. I had a great drawing professor that knew we had been drawing for a number of years, but forced us to completely start over by taking some vine charcoal, standing up at our desks, and proceeding to draw ovals on the paper, simple ovals, for two hours. The idea was to gain this physical understanding of how our shoulder could be the primary drawing implement and how your hand is just sort of along for the ride. And it had this natural way, by the end of the two hours, of changing the way that we were thinking about mark making. Because we weren't worried about drawing a nice teacup or a sci-fi monster, you could just simply enjoy making marks. And in doing so, we naturally got more confident with making lines. And so now I've adopted this sort of random play into my morning routine, where I'll take a brush and I'll make the small marks with it, and I'll also make big marks. I'll make ovals, curves, Anything to get the full range out of the brush. And this just sort of reminds my body that I can move around. And then when I get to my actual drawing, I'm much more likely to retain that looseness and to keep that action drawing into my work. Now this is truly a celebration of the digital medium, because I can be as wasteful as I want, and yet there's nothing lost. I don't have to worry about running out of paint or buying new canvases. In fact, when I'm finished, I don't even save the document, so it doesn't fill up any of my hard drive space. All I'm doing is I'm focusing on the physicality of mark making and letting my mind out of the loop for a little while just to kind of wake my body up. So that really, there's no way to go wrong. Like a poker player being on tilt, beginner artists often paint with the wrong mindset. Usually it's not anger that gets in the way of artists, it's nerves. A white canvas can be really scary. Now even though you won't be able to conquer this completely, Taking some steps to control this will make you improve at a much faster rate. So do you do some special sort of warm-up painting? If so, 
tell us about it in the comments. And as always, I'm looking for content to cover in upcoming videos, so if you've got some questions, put them in the comments too. Thanks for watching.